What's up guys, Nerds in the Pizza, I'm back bringing you guys another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary, and today what you guys are watching in the background is a 44 gun streak on the map raid, playing some multi-team hardpoint using the MTAR Golden and the AN94 to get this pretty nice gun streak. Uh, it's a pretty boring game I find, but you know I still managed to get this pretty nice gun streak as I said, so hopefully you guys enjoy that in the background, and what I will be talking about today is my school situation. Now you're probably thinking, what do you mean by school situation? Well, that's basically what I'm going to explain. And it's nothing bad or anything involving me, but it's just basically what is happening around my province and the whole area. So let's begin. Just a little background information. Uh, so I live in Canada, if you didn't know already. And in my province, uh, there's been a lot of problems lately with, uh, with disputes between the teachers and the governors or uh, what's the other word for uh, yeah government so basically what has been happening over the past year and a half now is the teachers actually haven't had contracts so basically they've been just kind of working on uh, I don't know really what what they work on but they still have like salary and a pay and all that but they basically haven't had a contract for a year and a half now and that's because the school and the government they just won't agree you know it's it's really bad like and this is where it's come to uh, the last couple weeks I mean it started off with phase one which was basically you know they would postpone some uh, some extracurricular activities and they wouldn't be allowed to stay for like an hour after school and something like that and I think they started to lose like five percent of their pay at first that was the first thing that happened with the job action uh, I say that's about a month ago and basically what happened after that is they went into phase two which basically was kind of like a lockout where they could only arrive to school 45 minutes before the bell and 45 minutes after the bell and they, in addition to that they weren't allowed to actually like talk and teach us during the breaks and lunch times and as well on top of all that they lost 10 percent of their money so that's not been good and uh recently actually they went on rotating strikes so what that means is uh, a couple different districts each day they went on strike so this week it was Tuesday that I actually had no school and I think next week I won't have school Monday so in a way it's pretty cool I mean to, to stay home and play Call of Duty an extra day I mean that's obviously fun but it's obviously bad too because uh, it means the teachers and the uh, the teachers and the governments aren't getting along together and you know there's been a lot of talk recently you know they're really trying to fix this especially at the end of the year because I only have two weeks of school after this one and we really need uh, all these days of school because after that, uh, after my final day of school, which I believe is June 12th, I have three exams, math, English, and science, uh, and those are provincial exams, so they're pretty important, especially because I'm in grade 10. So yeah, those provincial exams I think happen on the 18th, 23rd, and 24th. So I'm really hoping they can actually solve this problem. You know, there, there's been lots of talk recently. Like I said, you know, people, students have been writing letters to the government, you know, saying this is really not fair, especially for the students because it mostly affecting us, the problem. Like uh, all the things that have been canceled and all the things that uh, have, have happened has affect us really because the teachers, you know, they're trying to do what's best for us, I believe. I mean, they're trying to... You know, they're not just trying to get more money. I mean, everyone thinks they're just trying to get more money. But obviously, what they're going to do is they're going to try to have smaller class sizes, you know, have uh, more more diversity in the classroom, like how they teach and how they're different ways of teaching. And, you know, they're going to have lots of other things they're going to do. And, you know, they're not asking for so much more money a year. And the only reason why they want that little bit more money is to support the students even more. Like, you know, so they can stay after school and, like, help the kids with whatever they need to do. And, you know, there's lots of things the teachers want for just this little, I don't know how much of a raise it is. But, you know, they want that raise just so they can do all these things. So, yeah, basically that's what's happening with my school. Like I said, I really hope they solve this pretty soon. Obviously, with two weeks to go. Uh, they going on they go like I said I'm going they're going on rotating strikes again next week so I won't have school Monday which means long night long weekend for me uh, more gameplays I hope and uh, oh yeah I have a really good gameplay coming up it's probably my best gameplay I've ever posted that's coming up next and uh, 
yeah, so besides the point, uh, yeah, like I said, really hope they solve this soon because if they don't, if they end up going to phase three, which is like complete lockdown, then they'll have to cancel school completely, and that will be really bad, especially because now in the last couple of weeks we'll be reviewing for the final exams. And if you don't get to do that, then we're going to have to really study at home. And that's not going to be as fun as actually having the teacher there to help us study for these final exams. So yeah, that's pretty much a bit about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I hope to bring you guys a new series coming up soon in the next couple of videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to drop a like and a comment. And I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Peace. Dope you've ever smoked